Wilberts, um, who's going to talk about AI for brand listening. Now, I want you to put up your hands. Do you know what brand listening is? There is one person, oh, two, three, who knows what brand listening is. So, Benedict, brand listening, tell us more. Yes, um, I have some problems sharing my screen. I have to see if I can resolve that. We can see you now. You can see me, but um, can you see? And, uh, and we can also see your slides. slides. Can you see my slide? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. It's uh, yeah, a bit strange for me. Good. So thank you very much for this invitation. My my name is Benedict Wilberts. I'm leading the data science and machine learning department at Talkwalker. And I want to present uh, you here today where we are in our product using AI and machine learning and also highlight a few of our challenges. Okay, so um, yeah, Talkwalker itself was uh, founded in Luxembourg in 2009. I was joining that company around 2015. At that moment, we were around 40 employees and had just opened our first remote office in New York. Um, yeah, right now in 2022, we have uh, 11 offices worldwide and more than 650 employees. And our clients, um, yeah, are coming from all over the world. We have uh, more than 2,500 global brands. You can see here on the slides a few examples of those um, big names. And we are actually coming traditionally from the field of um, social media monitoring and analytics. That means we are processing in real time all the data from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, right now also Weibo and, and many others um, social networks. Um, yeah, and this is all done in order to help brands to monitor their, um, their reputation, the success of their campaigns, um, to detect um, shit storms and other issues in, in real time, but also help them with market research and, and trend analysis. And here on the slide right now, you see a screenshot from our tool. I've put in here one brand, which is important to, to us, at least from the technical side, which is uh, NVIDIA. And what you can see here, can you see my mouse? Actually? Yes. Yes, okay. So you can see here the uh, volume over time of over the mentions from from Nvidia. So they are between 100 and 200,000 mentions per day, which all flow in in our system. And uh, maybe a bit more interesting uh, than the pure volume is then also how are people actually talking about this brand. And uh, this you can see quite well here below in the sentiment uh, graph. So green means uh, people are talking positive about uh, that company, red means uh, negatively. So it was all fine, but some blips here in uh, mid and February, and maybe some of you guys can remember what happened to NVIDIA. NVIDIA was, was hacked and uh, there was, was some group which wanted to um, make them release uh, some of their source code and, and um, yeah, this was turning actually all the discussions negative, but on the other hand, somehow NVIDIA has managed to um, do well. It's now uh, going up again. And also this week, they have a big event, the GTC conference, where will they present their new products uh, for, for the next year. So, um, yeah, it turned out quite well for them. Um, yeah, this is where we are using AI and, and why that's so important for us. Um, and in general, our customers want insights from data. And and before um, yeah, the advent of tools and platforms like, like our ones, there were a lot of agencies which had to manually go through the news articles and then label and categorize them. But of course, this did not scale when it came up with um, social media and all these massive amounts of data available. So, um, yeah, the only way to do it is uh, actually to, to use AI and machine learning. So that way we can process millions of documents and, um, yeah, derive those uh, nice sentiment lines, for example, as you have seen in, in this slide before. So, yeah, one thing is um, categorization and labeling of data, but another big topic for our clients is also to um, understand what is going on in all these huge amount of data which you have on, on the web. And um, there is um, 
Yeah, it's already a little bit older, but everyone knows what was happening. This is actually from um, February 2020 when uh, COVID-19 was was uh, actually hitting the world. And here you see some clustering algorithms where we have taken all the conversations around COVID-19 and uh, broke it down in different uh, clusters, which you can see here, the yellow one, the green one, the blue ones, and so on. And one cluster, for example, is uh, general about China, Wuhan, and then the sad story about this Dr. Li, you probably all remember the whistleblower who was warning or very early already about COVID and how dangerous it was and later also died from it. Then um, in general about the impact on, on the world, about the CDC and officials, then some other discussions around the uh, COVID cases and the uh, death numbers. Um, but you also remember those um, yeah, outbreaks which we had on the cruise ships, for example, where people were, um, were, were stuck on, on board and could not uh, leave them. Um, then about the origin of uh, COVID-19, it was coming from animals, from bats, from the wildlife market. Um, other discussions about face marks, hand washing, stock market. So in general, it um, is a very handy tool to give you an immediate insight in this huge bunch of, of data around COVID-19 at that moment. Um, another application which we have is uh, image recognition. So we have some trained some special logo recognition, which can detect more than 5,000 different logos in all the images and videos which are coming in. And here you see some examples of the Red Bull logo, for example, which we are detecting in real time and in, in all the images flowing to, to our platform. Um, yeah, and what, what are the challenges? The challenges are for sure to process everything in, in real time. This huge amount of data we have to process around 500 million text documents per day for sentiment analysis, emotions, um, location detection, language detection. We have to do machine translation for many of them to translate them all in English and uh, make it possible to, to match them in English query. And um, here you see some of the graphs where it's peaking around, yeah, even 12,000 documents per second, which we feed through our neural networks. For images, we have to process around 100 million images per day. And uh, we also do videos, which is around 50 million videos per day. So it's um, not so hard to come up with some AI, which can actually do these jobs, but then scaling it out and uh, making it possible to really process these huge volumes in real time. That is, um, yeah, the, the other big challenge we, we have to face. Extraordinary. Good. That's very short what I wanted to tell you about the uses of AI here in the Luxembourgish company where we have to develop all these things ourselves due to this huge volume. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Uh, Benedict, that was magnificent. Uh, we all know now what brand listening is. Um, put up your hands if you now know what brand listening is. Very good. You see, you've converted the entire audience. I don't know whether Thank you can you. see them, but that was very good indeed. Thank you so much.